Yes, welcome one, welcome all, ladies and gentlemen, subs and grubs, and all you metalist goats in between. My name is Jack Cypher, and today on Russian Rascals, it's cold outside. That's pretty much all I have to say about it. Perfect weather for being cooped up inside uh, during the social distancing time. I hope you all are enjoying that. I hope you enjoy today's video. Just trying to give you a little bit more tanker cheer during this season where we are cooped up on the indoors. But don't want to focus on the negative, so right on to today's video. We have an IS-3 mastery review. The IS-3, if you do not know, which would be really strange, it's an iconic tank. But if you do not know, it is the Tier 8 Russian heavy tank. It's the better of the two lines. The KV-4 is its brother, if you will. And that tank is one of the worst tier 8's in the entire game. Lovely pop shot. One of the worst tier 8's. This used to be the Luna Kahuna, if you will, of tier 8. This used to be the heavy to go for. And now, we've got all these massive, we've got all these big, powerful, heavily armored super heavies coming in the game. So this has kind of been uh, it's not as amazing, but the tank still works. It's still an amazing tank. And so people still play it because they want to get down that line to the IS-7. People play this for a reason because it's just a great tank. It's not completely OP. It's not amazing in one certain area. It just works. And that's why people go for it. So today, today we have Rex... 21 Rex from the Scorp clan. Shout out Scorp. Um, for our first game in the IS3. And we are on Vineyards. And this is actually one of my least favorite maps. Because no one works. Okay. It's good for tournaments and stuff. But in my opinion, whenever I play it in regular battles, no one works as a team. And so you either have the games like this where your team is kicking backside and they're just kind of running around seal clubbing and wiping people out. Or you have other games where your team drives all over creation, doesn't know what they're doing, and gets themselves killed. Now this is actually a mix of both of those because everyone is trying to run around everywhere to try and get kills, but look at points. Rex's team doesn't have any bases. They're up by one player, but they're down by two caps. And so right now, it's even more of a mad rush because you're racing the clock. And that's where the point booster just started. And I think Rex, he should have switched to HE right there. You probably, he most likely would have gotten the kill and would have secured the win 100%. But he's still going to play really, really well. Down goes the Scorpion G. Now all we have left is a P44 Pantera and a T92E1, the most broke tank in Blitz. But his broken tank's not going to be enough to help him win this game because Rex, 21 Rex, is going to wipe him off the map. That's a lovely fire. Actually, I think the STB is going to be getting the T92E1, but it's still a really good name. Noobs! Shouts the IS-5. Well... They won, and Rex got an amazing Masterclass 1 with a Confederate medal, so... No, you're the noob, because you're dead. Thank you, IS-5. 3.1k damage, and I didn't see how many kills. Sorry about that. Great game, Rex. Uh, shout out to you, that was a really, really nice game. And so now we're going over to Dooley Bird from the Ranger Clan, and keep in mind, everybody, these are both NA games. Uh, we don't get many games from other servers. Uh, if you wanna, if you're in another server and you're watching this and you wanna give us some cool games from different areas of the world, join our Discord link or give us an email. Email us the replay in the in the email in the description below. I love talking, don't you guys? It's just a blast. So Dooley Bird's gonna be moving up on the left side, going towards the north of this map and this map is also very situational you have to have a good team working with you these are both teamwork maps some maps it's a 
one man versus the world kind of map, if you will. It's, uh, you can work well with any kind of scenario you're given. These two maps, you need to have a team backing you up if you're playing in a heavy. That's just how it is. And so we're actually going to be pushing really hard into their spawn, but one, uh, one action has an opposite or equal reaction, and this is they're pushing into our spawn. And so, Dooley Bird and this other heavy are going to be trying... Type 61. I can't see this, guys. I wish I was able to just move around the screen. But they're going to be trying to clear this Falcon as soon as possible because we're losing guys on the back. And the Conway's calling for help. Very, very disappointing shot right there. Bounces. Waffle Tractor's causing some havoc on that cavalry. And we're going to be trying to get a pop shot in on him in a moment but if you just look at the mini map reds are going unspotted and our t and we have three tds and they are kind of just blundering around helplessly not knowing exactly what to do and two of them are actually very big slow blundering exactly as i stated earlier they're blundering uh <clears throat> excuse me blundering tds that would be the at-15s and can we get the shot? Can we get the shot? Oh, Russian dispersion. Oh, yes. Right on the T-54 E1. You are back to the garage. No. Oh, nice shot by the waffle. He did a really good job in getting that shot right in there. But he is on only th one shot now. But Dilly Bird's not going to be able to clear him at the moment as he is going to set his sights on something else. And what I really love what he does here because he's had a half decent game so far I mean it's nothing amazing we all get these games but then the end is yet to be seen so the waffles are gonna be running and instead of sticking around to play with a t28 defender and a waffle tractor he does the very right thing and goes and helps his two TDs because you're going to be on a lot you have a way higher chance of success if you stick together as a team and help your team clear people one person at a time rather than to just like be a one-man army seven nation army is not a good song people i'm just kidding it has an amazing beat anyways lovely at shot on the standard b but the at-15 goes down but we're still going to be able to clear this guy. Switch to AG, then back to AP to guarantee the shot. Does not get the shot in time for the standard B to get one more shot in. Base capture just went off, so we know exactly where one person is. Goes off. That's the problem about this high spot right here is you have three ways to go. You can either stay down in the goalie, you can go left, or you can go right. And either way can be better for the person on top or the person on bottom. For Dooley Bird, it's not amazing because he doesn't have depression. That's... One of the bigger downsides of Russian tanks. But Dooley Bird says, attack the enemy because now he waits for the AT-15 to move up. Goes over to the left, doesn't spot anyone. Tries to poke a little bit on the middle but knows that there might be someone watching from that bush right there. So he goes around and he goes right. And I love what he does here because the AT-15 is going to just be like, <laughs> for, Brit for king and country or whatever the Brits say. <laughs> um, it's just barrel rushes right in it's like i'm an at-15 i can take it all and like i said earlier the waffle tractor is going to come back to haunt us more so the at-15 but we've got bigger things to deal with aka a fully clipped t-28 defender and we're going to spot him up in a second there's the t-28 now where's the pesky waffle that's one of the bigger questions here so we're going to be moving up and oh one of our teammates happened to just so awkwardly park their body so we could get a nice little pop shot in without taking damage how kind of you Kampapanza gets the shot right up the backside takes the attention of the T28 and the AT15 is in the clear for now oh there is the waffle tractor so Dooley Bird is going to take a shot here which is going to leave him on a one shot but F if you already saw it, lovely shot right there great job Dooley Bird if you saw it earlier the T28 just shot the AT15 earlier so he has one shell left so can Dooley Bird duke this out well based upon a mastery review you already know this that's an amazing amazing lucky shot right there and Dooley Bird's going to be able to clear him right here because the T28 bounced right on the gun mantlet of the Rush IS-3 and so we're going to be moving around trying to clear the Waffle Tractor we're on 1k bounce we're on 3.4k uh, done and the AT-15 actually 
gets it in the waffle tractor is like what the flip how did you do that well you died that's how it happened and so we get a lovely mastery we also get a spartan i believe yep spartan lovely job dually bird 3.4k damage three kills top of the team amazing amazing job overall did really really effective on getting shots in six out of seven people damaged is very effective great job dually bird but yep just wanted to get a note we've been doing a whole ton of different kind of shenanigans with all the rip and jack and working on songs for y'all but we thought we might want to get back to basic and get y'all a mastery review i hope you all enjoyed it if you want to get to know us join the discord if you want to send us stuff via email or just send us questions want to chat send us stuff via email in the description below comment like and subscribe the more views for us the better for us and the better for you we're on the road to 100 subscribers so help us get that number up one and all ladies and gentlemen subs and grubs and all you mother let's go in between my name is jack cypher and today on russian rascals i will see you on the next one bye for now and stay safe